everybody welcome back to my channel um i've got another quick video for you today but it's just gonna be a quick one because i'm so excited i've got a bit of a thing at the moment going on where i get really excited about some of the stuff that's coming out um and i got this in the post so modern renaissance palette by Anastasia, Beverly Hills. Beautiful palette, really, really nice, but not really my cup of tea. A little bit too girly for me. Um, I am, always have been, a bit of a alternative-y, rock chicky kind of gal um, at heart. And when I heard about this coming out, I was like, ooh, when it got leaked anyway. I was very, very excited. So I'd just kind of been sitting and waiting and just like, putting my pennies away, waiting and waiting. And then all of a sudden it was here and I was like, oh my God, I, I wasn't prepared for it to come out so quickly. So it came in the post um, yesterday. Um, I literally watched it get follow, followed it all the way from, from Brussels to the UK, to my doorstep. It was amazing. Uh, so yeah, so, here it is, the new Subculture palette. So obviously this one is the sister of the modern Renaissance uh, palette, but it is a little bit more grungy, a little bit more darker. It's got some beautiful colors in it. Now, I was actually making a MAC palette and my concept of what I wanted in my MAC palette is pretty much this. This is this is these are all the kind of autumn wintry, warm toned, kind of earthy, deep colours that I wanted to do. But I also wanted to have some pops of real fun in there as well. So here is oh shh, be quiet. So here it is, beautiful, beautiful colours that they are. Um, so what I thought I would do is just some basic quick swatches of the colours. Um, I'm not going to do a look with it today because I've not even had the chance to play with it or anything yet. You can see it's like so perfect. I mean, I am in, literally in love with this shimmery fleck colour and this beautiful two-toned white kind of shifty pink color oh beautiful 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 really really lovely colors i'm absolutely in love with this palette just by looking at it um so i'll do some swatches So it's still got the same faux suede packaging as the Modern Renaissance palette except in a different colour. This is more of like a greeny bluey colour, a little bit more edgy and you've got some lovely autumn winter tones in here. Anyway, so when you open it up you've got beautiful beautiful mirror inside um, and you get a brush. I haven't even opened the brush yet. <gasps> So you've got a nice sort of contour crease brush or packing brush and then blendy. So actually that is that is a really, really good shape, as is that. Not too big, not too small. Actually, that's a really nice brush. I'm quite impressed with that. So I think I might even actually use that one for a change. Um, I'm just going to give you actually a really good close-up of the colours. So you can kind of see... That um, edge colour, that sort of mustard yellow is beautiful, really, really lovely. And the new wave, they do actually come off a little bit similar if you just see on my swatches, but um, that edge colour is really, really nice, as is Destiny, the um, sort of like a camo green, really beautiful. The white cube one is very much like a really, really pressed 
um, I was really struggling to get that to swatch at all um, so that one you may need to kind of dig into a little bit and um, but all the others are beautiful now I have had lots of people say that they kick off quite a lot of powder but I haven't really found that throughout mine I found that they've been quite buttery actually so um, not a problem for me anyway um, really really nice amount of colour payoff really beautiful um, the rowdy colour looks quite purpley in the pan but actually comes off a little bit more browny so um, that's just one to be aware of um, but yeah um, really really just beautiful beautiful colours it reminds me a little bit of the Morphe Fall into the Forest palette um, which has very similar kind of colourway tones and also one thing I did notice is that you could if you were very very clever kind of do it in like little segments will make up one look so you could have like one look from like these colours, one look from these colours and a look from these colours here and then have your two sort of like your your highlight and your transition or something like that. So um, you can kind of play around with it either in like groups of threes or fours um, and they all kind of work really well together um, as I was sort of looking at it and just kind of having a little play doing those swatches. Um, so yeah, really, really happy with this palette. It comes in at £41 and it's available from Anastasia Beverly Hills .co .uk at the moment and um, but it is launching in um, places like Cult Beauty and stuff like that and I think it's around about the 1st of August that that's happening. Um, so yeah, um, do check it out, it's a beautiful palette and I will do a couple of little looks with it at some point when I get round to even touching my eyeshadow palettes to uh, give you some tutorials or, or show you some of them in more depth. Uh, anyway guys, um, hope you're having a fantastic day and I will catch you all later, bye!